Um, this is one of the uh, most recent studies here that I want to go into early, um, which, which I really, really love the story about it because, uh, so Ian Mitchell, uh, who's there in the back, um, you know, he knows this a professor at the University of Tulsa. 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 Yeah, exactly. And so he's an expert in the field of, um, you know, cell cultures, and looking at uh, ATP production and wound healing and lots of other things. That's, that's what he does. He has this big lab there and he's been doing this, I think, for over 20 years, right? He's a biochemist and associate professor there. And, and he's very mainstream. So, so he thought that an energy device or technology wouldn't do anything, right? Because it's just, it's just energy, right? And that's what some of you may also think, right? How it's just energy, how can that do something? And, and there's another story later that I'll uh, come to that was very similar to this one. So that's for us the, the perfect one actually to run a study with our technology because we know that is gonna be the biggest challenge we have, right? Uh, he doesn't believe in this and he, he just thinks this is not gonna work. What happened though is that uh, it showed an increase in ATP production consistently um, and already after I think five minutes when the first measurement was taken, it showed that increase and the increase was 20 to 25%. So now everyone knows who Dave Asprey is and he's not in the room, but I texted Dave Asprey right after the study, you know, what, what came out of that and he responded, this is absolutely brilliant. He has not heard of anything that can uh, reach 20 to 25% increase in ATP production. Maybe if you do these 10, 11 things all at the same time, you can get it there and certainly not with something like this. This is amazing. And uh, ATP production, I mean, most of you probably know, but it's the, the currency of the body, right? So it's, you know, you can live without um, food for some time, you can live without water for less time, and then uh, you, you're, very fast dead actually if there's no ATP production, like almost instant, you know, is it a, like a second and a half? It's, it's a few seconds. Yeah. You're, you're gone. In under 30 seconds, even if you're very healthy and robust. Yeah. 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 So, you know, that's what you need in order to just function on a physical level. You need it for mental performance, for physical performance. So now um, uh, it's important. And, and in the study, by the way, it was not small. It was definitely uh, statistically significant and they had 96 cell wells in the control um, and 96 cell wells in the group that was charged. And it was double blinded, so the professor didn't even know which were the cells that were charged. And the cell wells, I think in each cell well, you have hundreds of thousands of cells, just so you know like the dimension of this. So this was not a small sample size. 